Hey y'all, we are working on layout one, week one of collection obsession. And if you didn't see my previous video, the collection I am using is Life Right Now by Pink Fresh. And I wanted to hop on and show you um, where I'm at so far and to talk about a couple of things. So first thing I did was I went through my ephemera pack that I had purchased that goes with this uh, collection and pulled out the ones that would apply to the photos I had selected and these were the die cuts that I found. Now, I don't have to use all of them. I just pulled out the ones that would go with the layout to keep them aside because my photos are of uh, from 2020 during uh, bad part of COVID, we, uh, to keep my parents safe because so much was unknown at the time about COVID and treatments and how it affects people. And we still don't know how it affects people because it affects everybody differently. We kind of stayed away from my parents because they're older and my father has some health issues. So this was... I think in September when it wasn't so hot because in the south you really don't want to eat outside during the summer because it's really really miserable and in September still hot but tolerable <laughs> so uh, so this is in my parents front yard uh, picked up some Chinese food and uh, they set a table outside and some chairs, and this is how we visited. So that's my photos. And originally, I had this blue cardstock that I wanted to use for my background, but I opted to use it for a uh, photo map for my two photos because there is something about Pink Fresh and a white cardstock background. Is it just me? Is it y'all? It just really looks so much better with a white background. Now, does that mean I'm gonna use a white background on all my other layouts? Not necessarily, but for this one, I think the white just really popped better than the blue. So, this is what I have so far. And then another little thing I wanted to mention, I have gotten the six by six paper pad to go along with this, um, with the paper kit. So when you're using pieces of paper, like you know you wanna do a section here, you don't have to cut apart a 12 by 12. You can use one of your six by six papers of the design that you wanna use. So it's going to go kind of, you know, something like this. And there'll be some other papers, but this is just the, the start of it. So that was the other little tip. Oh, if you have a 6x6 a six six paper pad that would, um, that goes with the collection, or even if you're not, uh, if you're not doing a collection per se, and you have a coordinating six by six paper pad that would go uh, with what you're working with, you can always use that for your paper pieces. So don't forget about that. So what I thought I would do on camera is just a tiny little bit of mixed media. And I mean a tiny little bit. But we all can do a tiny little bit of mixed media. So I'm going to put some splatterings that's it I think that's the easiest thing to do um, you know besides stamping I thought about pulling out some like background stamps like of uh, splatters and put you stamping it on here but I thought I would use some uh, my paint instead so that's what we're gonna do and the color I'm gonna use this came with, and I had opened it up to make sure it wasn't dry. And um, this is from 
hot mess kiss and don't tell let me see if that's the name of it yes it's called kiss and don't tell and it is this green or teal green and their uh, address is www.badgirlscouture.com and I had got I don't know if I just said this but I had gotten it with a uh, hip kit with the um, like the color not the color add-on you got the I can't remember what they call that add-on but it was with one of the add-ons so this is kind of the same green that is on this and I wanted to incorporate some green into my layout because of the green of the grass in here so I wanted to bring some green in so what we're gonna do is take a piece of packaging you know piece of plastic open this up oh now I can't get it open because I didn't put the lid on correctly oh <laughs> there it goes <laughs> It's a little painful for me to twist something tight because I have trigger finger on both of my, well, on one finger on each hand. And that is not fun. Um, I'm going to mix my paint with this little palette and just put a little blob on this plastic. And I probably got too much paint. I'm going to scrape the rest off. Let's set that aside. Let me see if you can see the little... Yes, you can see the little plastic. I do have a mat. I do have one of those mats where you um, can just wipe off your inks and whatnot. But guess what? It's not where I normally keep it. And I did not feel like looking for it. And this shouldn't be too messy. And I got a wet paper towel in case it is messy. So I have this little, um, look, I already got paint on my fingers. I have this little mini mister. So I'm just going to move my paper and spray some water. Take my paintbrush and just swirl it around. Excuse my dog. He apparently sees something interesting outside. It'll be a squirrel, a bird, a package, a rabbit, or this feral cat that's been hanging around, coming around. Um, and he's feral because I can't get near him. <laughs> so then we're just going to take, we're going to hold our paintbrush and then with one hand, and then I'm just going to tap it with the other. And if you want bigger blocks in certain areas, you can also just do this kind of jabbing motion and so I'm not putting I did not treat this I did not treat this background with anything because it shouldn't be too warty and you know as it dries And then I'm just going to wipe off around here because, of course, I slung some paint. But if you're on a hard surface and you wipe it right away, it'll be all right. Let me see if you can... I don't even know if you can really see that on the camera. 
because it is a green and I done slid my paper down. Sorry about that. You can also hold it and flick it with your finger like this, like people do when they flick ashes off of a cigarette. Okay. And I'm just kind of doing it at a diagonal because a lot of this, you know, is probably going to be covered up. A lot of this area right here. That's okay, because it's just a little bit of paint and water. And when this dries, if I want more, I can always add more if it's not enough. So that is it for now and probably when I come back on it will be a completed layout. Okay, so I am back with my completed layout and it is a scrap lift that I found from a lady named Sarah Key. And I do a lot of scrap lifting or using sketches because it seems that part of creativity I get stumped I will just sit and stare at paper and photos and I just can't unlock that locked door that in my head that gives me the ability to come up with ideas for layouts but anyway this is my finished product I did go back besides the uh, paint splatters. I did go back and take a background stamp and do a little bit of stamping just to give it some more color in the background. And as you can see, I covered up most of what I did, which happens a lot when you do mixed media on paper and you have uh, other pattern papers you want to use, plus your photos and embellishments, you are going to cover it up, a lot of it up. So this layout is really not about the photos. It's about telling the story that showing, or rather illustrating how we would get together as family during the height of COVID. And this is at my parents and we're eating takeout. And um, I just wanted to tell that story. So. Just remember your photos don't always have to be perfect in your eyes. Um, it just gives a scenery for my journaling, which isn't very much. But I will have more photos to talk about and stories to talk about the pandemic, as I'm sure a lot of you have as scrapbookers. So I just need to look on my camera and write the date. I think this was in September of 2020, but I want to double check and make sure. But I basically just made a big banner and did some layering. I did use the 6x6 six six paper pads for this layer and this piece right here because this is actually one piece of 6x6 six six paper but I spanned it down and you can't see where it the paper stopped because it's covered up by this little embellishment cluster here. And here's that little Chinese takeout box, a little puffy sticker that I thought I would never use this and look at here. We had Chinese. <laughs> so I threw some embellishment dots, added a little clustering here. 
And because Sarah had done some of the, uh, the little thread nest, I did that too, which is another thing about scrap lifting. You will do a technique or try something that's normally not in your uh, bin of go-to items. So it helps to add a little bit more variety uh, from the things that you normally do when you uh, make layouts. We have a little cluster here. And um, like I said, the most of these embellishments came from the Life Right Now collection, but some of these stickers did not because I didn't purchase it when I bought uh, the collection and neither did this little sticker here, but it's all still pink fresh. And one other thing I noticed when I was fixing to do my journaling, and I had forgotten about this, and this is kind of a little laugh or haha -ha for me, is you'll see, this is my sister, and you see a little mark on her leg. Well, that's not a mark. That is a cicada. Some of you call them cicada. Some people call them Katie Dids. But it's the very loud locusts that uh, come during the summer. They make a lot of noise in the trees. And then they shed their skin and they leave a little shell behind. And when we were kids, we used to go find those shells on trees. And you normally see them on trees. And then kind of attach them to our clothes. And I forget, maybe my niece was the one who found it or saw it, and my sister stuck it to her leg. And I had forgotten about that till I saw it on her uh, leg right there. So that gave me a, a little laugh, and I'll remember that when I see the, the photo. It's not necessarily something I need to journal about, but it did give me a little haha. -ha. So that is it for video one. I was planning on having it out earlier, but for some reason, I have developed an issue with journaling. And I don't care how short, how little the journaling is. All of a sudden, I just put it off. And I still have some 30 days of sketches that I haven't shared yet with Christy's Beautiful Life. I haven't journaled on them. <laughs> so that will be my focus um, this week is to get those finished up and do my next layout for this collection obsession series. I hope you have en are enjoying it, playing along, even if you're not posting. Um, it's just a way to help use up some of those scraps and I'll have a playlist below of the people who have uh, said they were going to play along over in the Crafty Low or No Spin Facebook group. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.